I like that. Tell me why you decided to agree to have your story told. Well, I'm, a lot of people know about me as a, a DJ and a producer, but I told um, Mecca, I told Janelle, I wanted to take it um, a little bit deeper. He suggested it too, that in addition to the musical achievements and the DJing and the producing and all things music, I wanted to also be about all things about my life. Cover me all the way from a little boy, from a kid, um, being in the living room where my father was playing the, the gospel. The, that's where my original connection with the music comes from when he was playing uh, James Cleveland, Dorothy Norwood, Howlin' Wolf, Lightning Hopkins, Jimmy Reed, James Brown, Aretha Franklin, Sam and Dave. Um, <coughs> My father's the first original connection to the music for me. He's my first inspiration, watching him play 45 and album after album. And then um, when I grew up and I got around my teen years, my early teen years, as early really as 10, 11, or 12 years old, but I'm telling my age right there, those were the disco years. There wasn't even hip hop yet. They were bringing the systems and the big speakers and the turntables out in the park. And I watched this guy stand in the middle between the two turntables and he had the mixer in the middle and he's like controlling the park, controlling the sound. And I noticed that he would have like two copies of the same record and focusing on that one important part of the record making it loop round and round over and over. And I was like, oh, I want to do that. I don't want to do that. Um, 